Hello Sinners and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. I'm George Sims01 and we're back with another part of Eco Lifestyle. Um, so Tori's gone into labour. Uh, we just got the little thing saying that she's gone into labour. Excuse me, can, I, can we see her please? Um, so she's gone into labour. Uh, I guess we're just gonna go to the hospital. I didn't... It's another thing of I didn't want to start playing yet but I guess we're gonna go straight to the hospital uh, of course we're gonna take Knox uh, so get get on your way love so here we are of course Knox is gonna start panicking because that's what every male does so please go check in the front desk okay go here go hey oh my god the baby's gonna baby's gonna be born hey I already have a, no a name picked out um, for each, if it's a boy or a girl, I have names. I didn't need to ask on Twitter because the name came to me because I'm big brain. Oh my god, Knox. <laughs> oh my god, is the machine cooperating today? For once. Oh my god, no way. Is he doing. Oh, that's the fountain. I thought it was raining. <laughs> uh, are we gonna. Is the, is the baby gonna be born? Hello, simulation lag. Oh, Nox is freaking out. Oh my god. Oh, oh, it's a girl. So obviously I'm gonna ch change that to green bug. Because it's Nox's last name. So it's a girl. So we're gonna call her Rose. Um, obviously a tribute to my friend, Rose Sims. Or she goes by Rose Place now, doesn't she? But tribute to her, but you know, I thought because, you know, it's Eco Lifestyle, Knox is into gardening, his last name is Greenberg, and a rose is a flower, so why not? Oh my god. No! Tori had twins? Okay then. So that's Nina and Tori that have just had twins. I swear, like, I never have twins. What? What? Excuse me? Okay. Greenberg? That's... Yeah, that was Berg. Okay. And it's going to be Reed. Rose and Reed Greenberg. Because they're both plants. Uh, and, you know, it's just kind of, it's kind of fitting. Oh my god, there's Rose. Oh. Where's Reed? Oh, there's Reed. Oh my god, there he is. An icon. The doctor has prepared the birth certificate. Oh my god, Tori, hug your daughter. Oh my god. Honestly. I'm looking forward to that baby update, loves. But like, she kind of cute. <laughs> oh my God, okay, Tori, please change out of that. Go home, go home. Your babies are already at home. Just go home, go home. Knox, go home. Just both of you go home. So here we are, the babies should be, oh my God, there they are. We don't actually have a proper nursery. Oh my God, that is broken. Oh my God, okay. We don't actually have a proper nursery for them, but, Oh my god, uh, here are our children. Oh my god, oh my god, okay. Tori, go feed, go breastfeed. Okay, Knox, go bottle feed, just, just go feed them. Oh my god, they're children. I am so happy. Blossom, you're a nan. Oh my god, oh wait, we need to get her into knitting. I forgot. Okay, so here is her knit bag. I want to have her knit some onesies. Obviously, we can only knit a beanie right now. Go knit a tiger beanie. Uh, so we can have her start knitting. Uh, I think it's like level seven maybe of the knitting skill. Uh, but basically this is what I'm going to have <laughs> her do. She can focus on knitting in this Let's Play. Uh, hopefully your parents will be here soon. Oh. The first picture with his son. So proud. Tori, you might want to hurry up because, like, your child's getting taken away. Oh my god. Okay, Tori, thank you. Okay, Knox, do nothing. Okay, good. Um, but here they are. Oh my god. Oh my god, wait, are we moving anywhere near? Okay, we're just completely at neutral. Uh, knitting project complete. Okay, we can... Let's just list that on Plopsy. Like, let's just go ahead. List it on Plopsy. List on... List it. You know, it actually turned out well. 
Oh, Blossom, we're just going to have her head to work. And then she can knit another beanie to get her knitting skill up. And she's almost at level two already, uh, which is cool. I do actually kind of want to give her a rocking chair instead of the lounger. I hope, you know, one day in the future, when babies are unlocked from their little bassinets, that we'll be able to rock the babies in the rocking chair, because that would be very stinky cute. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? Who has a high... Okay, she has a high repair skill. Let's go do that. Uh, oh my god. Jeffrey Langrab, what are you doing? Is he alright? Is... Check neighborhood action plans. No? Okay, it's just free love. Um, oh, we're gonna mo uh, vote for modern developments, and that's... Oh, it opens today! Uh, when is it? Friday, 8 a.m. Okay, so that's almost open. So why is Jeffrey Langrad streaking? I am very confused. Can you not? <laughs> Jeffrey, get out of here, you freak. You creep. Like, leave. Oh my god. Uh, so Eddie, why is he uncomfortable? Oh, cut in the from microwave food. Okay. Should she be knitting? Excuse me, Blossom. What happened? She's... She's frozen. She's she's broken. Oh my god. Okay, Blossom, you need Jesus. Please. Please. Okay, um... <laughs> I don't think we need any more evidence for him being pregnant. Uh, because he has the moodlet. A uh, weird tummy ache. Eddie isn't feeling so hot. It must be something he ate. And he's... Uh, weird. He's doing the alien thing. And, you know, I mean... He's got the bump. Um, so he is <laughs> very much pregnant with an alien, uh, which is exciting. I haven't had an alien baby for so long. It's been, it's been too long since I've had an alien baby, probably since like I got get to work. So that's fun. Uh, Nox, how is your gardening skill? Um, what skill he is? Oh, he's, okay, he's level seven. Oh, I think Jackson's leaving. Bye, Jackson. Bye, bitch. <laughs> there he is. Um, so he's all, like, you know, three levels away from being level 10. So I, when I was reading about being a plant sim in The Sims 4, it's like a special type of uh, seed packet. It's like rare seed. <laughs> Um, it's like a rare seed, I think, or something. I'm not too sure. I have to look into it again. Oh, Blossom's home. She did a good job. Okay. Okay, so Eddie's just going to keep doing that. So Tori, oh my god, this one is levitating. <laughs> hey, bitch. Oh my god. Okay, we can come collect these at least then. Oh, okay. Tori, please go look after your child. Go, okay, cuddle. Uh, probably Eddie. Actually, Knox, you can come go collect beetle nuggets, collect cricket flower, and then also um, massage that, I guess. I don't think that's quite ready yet. I, lo I just love how it's the A-OK -okay, the okay bloomer. That's so, just like, the Sims team trying to give us the humor. Hey. Oh my god, the baby's still crying. Tori, what are you doing? Stop. Like, literally take care of your child, please. Go feed, go breastfeed your baby. Oh my god. So, what skill level is Eddie at? Uh, where is Mixology? He's only, he's level four, okay. Um, he's almost at level five. This will take us a little bit, oh my god. Is this, is she like out here drinking? Oh my god, Tori, I like alcohol, drink it. Oh my god, I forgot we made that. Like, when did we make, we made It's just apple juice. <laughs> but like, oh my god. I can't believe we, I forgot about that. We just put that in the fridge straight away. Can she not drink it? Are you having troubles? Like, go drink it. Blossom, it might help you with your knitting. Is she fizzled out from drinking juice or seltzer? Probably too much, one too many. Probably the best to stay asleep, waking up will not be any easier. Oh, okay. 
Let's just put that back in the fridge. <laughs> oh, Blossom. You alcoholic. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. Tori's already in asleep. Same, though. Eddie. No. Don't, why are you going to sleep in Eddie's bed? That's Eddie's bed. Pause. Did he just... Eddie, are you all right? You're right, love. Okay, we're just going to send Eddie to bed, too. Uh, just so we can skip till tomorrow. Okay. She's getting stung by bees. Okay, Blossom, you really this it's not really it's really not your day, is it? Uh, you just need to go to bed. Um, maybe you will have some better luck tomorrow. Maybe we, if she wakes up early, we can go have her rock in her rocking chair. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe that will soothe her. Um, but I'll like wait till Eddie gets to bed, and then I will. Oh, okay. The baby's crying. Knox, take care of it. Tori, why stop? Oh my god! Oh my god! No, it's almost blossoms. What do you mean? No! No! <laughs> no, it can't be. No, I don't want Blossom to die yet. I don't want it. I mean, I know, I, I knew her time was coming. I didn't expect it to be so soon. Like, I literally moved her in last part. Oh my god, no, Blossom. I'm actually so sad. Okay, Tori, go back to bed. I'm gonna just take her needs away. I will, I will see you back in the morning. Okay, so of course it is 5 a.m. and Blossom is up knitting. And I did move the babies over here, so it's like she's kind of spending time with her grandchildren before she passes. Although, I do remember, I was, I just went to change uh, her aspiration. I mean, she's already on the second, or the first thing of, she's already like done one of the milestones. But I forgot about the aspiration rewards, so we could actually get her a potion of youth somewhere there is potion of youth um i don't tend to do this like, because i exist uh, but we can actually go change this diet but we could have her drink the potion of youth just so she's around for a little while longer and this is not technically like cheating seeing as it's you know in the game but uh I don't know, I just kind of want her to be around for a little bit long because I really like her. Oh, wow. Okay, so that takes her to the beginning of the Elder Life stage. Um, didn't think it would do that. Uh, but we can have her reminisce. Let's have her go do that. Because uh, I haven't seen this interaction. Yeah, I didn't actually see it on the live stream, I don't think. Um, but, you know, we just have... They just go through events in their lives. So it's like a birthday party, I guess. Uh, I mean... Toddlers can't ride bikes, but go off, I guess. <laughs> and I know. <laughs> um, oh, she's just thinking of her childhood, maybe. You know, her first day at school or something. Like, that's just really cute. I love this interaction. Um, it's just so sweet. <laughs> uh, but I thought, you know, it'd just be nice. I moved her easel down there for the time being. I also got some money trees which we can ha go ahead and have Nox plant when he wakes up but you know just thought it'd be I, obviously I'm gonna fix this I just wanted to give her a couple more days maybe so they're at least toddlers when she uh where, like though they kind of know her <laughs> at least oh my god puppy oh I want to get a dog in this household I haven't seen a stray going around yet I think I still have the stray mod I might have removed it. Hold on. <laughs> I think I accidentally removed the mod that allows strays. Um, I'll be sure to get that back in my game. Which he should be in his like second trimester soon as well. Which is kind of scary. You know what? Blossom's going to take pay time off. Uh, is she angry? What is going on? <laughs> She's angry. Uh, remember that really awful thing. That day we... There's a catalyst for everything horrible in life. Oh my God, that is 2020. She's thinking of the pandemic. Oh no. Uh, oh no. <laughs> I mean, we could actually have her retire 
from work. Maybe that's something she wants to do. She's going to retire. So maybe it's time for her to do that. So she can spend more time looking after her grandkids. Uh, Blossom retired as a nature historian. She will receive a, p a pension check every day based on her salary at the time of retirement. Time to kick back and relax. And to be honest, I think she's already doing that. I mean, she looks like she's enjoying herself. She loves to knit, uh, which is what the pack should have been called. Oh my God, they're both growing. Okay, Blossom, you can take care of this. Go change dirty diaper, go bottle feed. Oh, and Tori is now awake. Obviously she's gonna go water. Uh, she's watering meat. Please don't water the meat, you're squeamish. Okay, Eddie is still asleep. Oh my god! I sweat- Jeffrey Langrab, are you alright? Like, are you okay? Because... All you've been doing is just streaking. I don't- I, I don't want to go zoom down there, but like... Are you alright? <laughs> What's Nancy putting you through that you have to go streaking through Evergreen Harbour? Like, has, has anyone just- had a random streaker in there. Oh my god, there's Nancy. He's going to run. He's running over to her. Like, Jeff was wrong. Oh, she's gone now. Oh my god. I didn't even see this, but like, you know, it's been a week almost since Green Initiatives was put in. And look, there's so many plants now in Port Promise. And like, oh, it's just so. It's just look. Just such a lush environment, you know, all of this is just nice again. And look, I mean, over there is like, I'm pretty sure that's meant to be, I think this is meant to be Conifer Station over here because this is, you know, that where the train comes out, uh, which is fun because it makes the world feel more open. I, I wonder where, like, because a couple years ago, someone made a fan map of The Sims 4 that put all of the uh, neighborhoods together. I wonder where Evergreen Harbor is meant to be. Like what and what other towns it's meant to be near. Because I'd say it's like it kind of looks to me like it should be off, like a district of San Myshuno or something. Eddie, you're like still in bed. It's literally 11 a.m. Get up. Oh my god, he is like. Where does Han go though? But he is like quite big now, isn't he? Still, oh, there he goes. There he goes. <laughs> uh, clean that spoiled food. Okay, but he does. He do be kind of big now. Like, wow. Okay. Well, that was helpful, wasn't it? Thanks, Eddie. Thanks for your contribution. Um, fill your hunger up. I don't. I I I've, I've been playing a lot of The Sims 2 recently, and I, I keep forgetting that pregnant Sims can't die in The Sims 4, because they could in The Sims 2. Um, so maybe we should go take another gig. Uh, no flavor country. Let's try and find one that's at a higher skill level, maybe. Oh, we're, we're in excellent, so hopefully we should be getting a promotion. I mean, we're like level 7 oh, we're being attacked by bees. Bees, calm down. They're enraged. Go apply mic term uh, treatment. Bees, oh my god. <laughs> Calm down. Oh, there goes Makoa. That's not Makoa, never mind. Oh my god! <gasps> it's an alien! Tatum Serrano. Bitch, this is like the first alien I've seen in like the longest time just in my normal game without me having to create an alien first. Hey, bitch! I wonder if that's the mother. Oh, he's getting a phone call. Hey, Eddie. Oh no, I don't want to go on a date to the Von Honnet estate. I'd love to... Okay, you know, we're gonna ask... Instead of doing this, Eddie, get dressed. We are gonna ask uh, Jackson out on a date to one of the new lots because we have the bar and the cafe. So let's actually go to the cafe. Uh, Jackson... Oh, can we only do it with the phone? I forget, like... Uh, ask out on date... Ask on date, there we go. Ask on date. Stop talking to Blossom, I know she's a badass bitch. And she's stan her. But like, let's go ask Jackson out on a date. I've been meaning to do this uh, for the longest time, actually. Um, and it's taking me till now. Uh, awkward encounter. Oh, did he not want to go? Okay. Bad reception. From using phone off the grid. Wait, are we off the grid? Okay, you know, maybe we'll just ask 
him like over or something first. Jackson, invite to hang out at current lot. We'll just do that. Oh my God, he's huge. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Eddie. Weird weight gain, there we go, from funky metabolism. Eddie has put on, Eddie has put on quite a few pounds. Surely this is just a phase. Uh, it's not a phase, mom. Okay, so Jackson's here. Let's go get to know him. Because I do believe they are endgame. Uh, I stand them. Because they're cute. Oh my god, the baby's crying. Who is going to look after the baby? Who, who's going to get there first? Neither of them. Okay. Go feed. Go breastfeed. So Eddie, I think like the last... Oh, he needs to pee. You know what, Eddie? You're not going to pee. Oh my god, he... He has the pregnancy walk and everything. <gasps> Eddie. Oh my god, Knox, why are you uncomfortable? I was feeling feverish. Oh no. Oh my god, they're both crying. Oh my god. Tori, please feed both of them. Feed, breastfeed. Oh my god, okay. So I do want to start being more romantic with him because I believe they are endgame. <laughs> He's active, okay. Um. Romance, embrace, can we like invite Oh he's a good reputation! Wow, okay. Can we like invite him to feel the baby or something? Uh I don't think like he actually knows it's a baby or not. Me, just <laughs> just make the smog vacuum. But they are now boyfriends. So that's cute. Oh my god, they can woohoo. Okay. I I'm gonna save that. <laughs> you know what? No, let's go have them dumpster woohoo. Let's do it. Die for thrills with Jackson. Eddie hasn't had any kind of romance in his life this whole series. So they are gonna go do a dumpster woohoo. Um, Nox is in earshot, but I don't think Eddie cares. Eddie just wants to get his free con. <laughs> He's been gaining so much weight recently and he doesn't know why. He's so confused. So he's just happy, <laughs> to say the least, to be wooed for the first time. Break out the candles and make it romantic. Eddie is about to woohoo for the first time. We finished it. We finished the smog vacuum. It's only taken us like this whole time. Oh my God. Can we like clean up vacuum smog? Let's do it. Oh my God. She's doing it through the fabricator. <laughs> well, I mean, at least she's doing it. Uh, and then I think we like deposit it in like the garbage, don't we? But we've finally been able to do it. And the baby's crying again. Blossom. I swear, these babies are always crying. Like, go cuddle. So we finally unlocked the smog vacuum after all this time. And then I think we do have to go, like, put it, dump the smog vacuum. There we go. But Eddie, Eddie finally woohooed. Oh my God, all this trash. Coming from there. Okay, Blossom, she should. Blossom is a neat. Okay, these poor babies are being neglected. <laughs> At least Eddie's gonna go look after Rose like a good uncle. <laughs> but I think I'm gonna end it here. <laughs> this part has gone on for a lot longer than I thought it would. Uh, but that's because I'm just. I'm just happy to be playing again. Like, I haven't played this family in a, in about a week, like over a week actually. So I, I'm really enjoying Eco Lifestyle and I mean, I think we're coming up to almost the end of it. Like, I mean, we still have to get to a green Eco footprint because it's not happening normally and we need to, you know, finish our job. And also, <laughs> Knox needs to become a plant sim. Uh, but, you know, we're almost done. Oh, we need to go clean this. Can you go clean that, Knox? Thank you. Uh, but anyway, if you enjoyed this plot, plot? If you enjoyed this part, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, really help me out. And I will see you in the next part. Bye, guys.